Hey guys, Straho here. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to show you OpenStep, a really interesting operating system from the mid 90s. It's interesting in many ways. Firstly, it was the foundation of what became Mac OS X. Uh, secondly, it paved the way back for Steve Jobs to return to Apple on a white horse after he was sucked from there in the mid 80s. And last but not least, there are some amazing features inside guys. I am going to show, show them to you basically for an early to mid 90s operating system. It's awesome. So let's check it out. So, by default, uh, OpenStep does not come with users and passwords, just the default root user auto logins. But I have done this properly, and in the result, in the result, I can't remember what I just. Maybe it's blank. Nope. Okay. I have a mnemonic way of remembering passwords but since I'm old and I rely on old hardware and low memory I seems to forget and I obviously was able to remember the password but as you heard my multitasking was was really slow because of that so we have this open step here guys it's not on a virtual machine although I have it on my VMware ESXi uh, virtualization server but I prefer to run it on a, on a real hardware because I was able to tweak it and by tweaking it let me show you the config of this beauty after it loads so the machine is a Pentium 2 with uh, 266 clock and 48 megabytes of uh, system memory on a Intel 440LX motherboard ATRH Pro display adapter with uh, 4 max AGP uh, what else um, Intel 100 Pro PCI networking adapter and Sound Blaster 16 plug and play sound card Speaking of the Sound Blaster, it was the hardest device that I had to configure. It took me like three hours because I had like 10 Sound Blaster 16s, different models. None of them worked. I tried with Sound Blaster 32, Sound Blaster 64, and I was at the, the brink of a serious depression. When I found uh, some Buster 16 that has been created by Creative, <laughs> that that sounded funny, created by Creative. So it was made by Creative for Hewlett Packard OM version of Sound Buster 16 that did the job. In terms of installation, you have to follow one rule, and that is to choose your hardware wisely, because this is an old exotic operating system and the uh, hardware limited is, is the hardware support is limited sorry you know my english is uh, kind of funny so yeah the only thing i've loaded during the setup which consists of uh, three floppies and a cd rom the first flop floppy is uh, unix kernel and the other floppies are with device drivers so i the only thing i have loaded during setup is uh, the this controller, which in my case, since it's a Pentium 2 system, is pretty standard. It's a dual first in, first out master slave ID controller. All the other drivers I have added after the install was completed. Uh, from here, you can choose a supported hardware and me show you the supported display adapters for example oh because plug and play is enabled it only shows me my 
current one but you can from here add whatever you want uh, you can select the proper direct memory access channel proper interrupt request port address and if you disable this any mini mini tick here you can force it to do whatever you want which i do not uh, i do not uh, give you that advice because you could easily break your operating system and you will have to do some pretty unix things during post to fix it not that it did not happen to me like five times but yeah so be careful it's old it's uh, it has its it's dirty little tricks but that's it i really like it because of the things i will show you now and to avoid all speculation on what is working and what is not on this uh, this run i'm gonna ping nasa oops nasa.gov see see nasa can you handle this can you handle this and in the meantime in nasa they're like uh, we've got cloudflare ping us see if we care but that doesn't matter because i'm gonna try something even cooler i'm gonna find a browser that works on this os and i'm gonna try to open their page and just for the sake it of a sysadmin somewhere opening the access walk and seeing one access open what uh, uh, yeah so yeah guys everything is working from a networking perspective we have dns domain name system everything and remember this is almost uh, a 30 year old operating system so with the nasa part taken care of i'm gonna close the terminal okay let's let's do it properly Control C, does it work? Yes, maybe exit. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's fiddle a little with the menus. Uh, I showed you the control panel of everything related to hardware. Can't remember if I showed you how to change the resolution. Uh, it's done through here. And if you click on select, you have all the available display modes. Uh, this one is for for users that that feel lucky, that feel lucky punk. So I'm using a pretty standard one for those those years. Uh, mouse mouse settings. Uh, you can invert access and stuff. Uh, this is the networking, I think. What do we have an expert? Uh, yeah, you have a help file and the driver name. We'll not play with it. Oh, you can select the speed and enable or disable full duplex. Uh, this is for a SCSI controller. I don't have one. Uh, there are several available models, pretty standard. Uh, but I decided to go without a SCSI. Uh, this is the sound and the other peripherals are from here okay we saw that so let's go to the what do we have here you can create a new folder ah the info part or well, the info panel things that i'm on a 486 uh, but trust me guys i'm on a pentium 2 machine else there was something interesting actually from tools yeah the process explorer huh do you like the let's kill the terminal actually kill kill yes it killed it uh, this is a pretty pirate expired icon maybe because in the early years of apple and steve jobs They taught themselves themselves to be pirates against big corporations like IBM. Uh, the, the the irony now being the the big brother. 
just a little trip down uh, memory lane about the history of this operating system. Apple were developing their next, uh, at the time, OS code named Copland, I think, if I'm not mistaken. But it was not good at all, so they were looking for a next genos elsewhere. They looked at OpenStep, also next step from Next. Uh, Suaris from Sun Microsystems, BIOS, and believe it or not, they even looked at Windows NT. Everyone thought that BIOS would win because it was developed by the new company of the guy that replaced Steve Jobs as the head of the Macintosh division when he was sacked from Apple in the mid-90s, sorry, mid-80s. Uh, so his new company went to present BIOS at Apple, but uh, they were overconfident that they would win and did not do a proper presentation at all. While we all know how Steve Jobs can sell a pickle to a guy that grows pickles, uh, OpenStep presentation went great, and the rest they say is history. Jobs came back to Apple first as a consultant, then temporary CEO, permanent CEO, iMac, iPod, iPhone, trillion dollar market cap, baby. Yeah, I'm an expert, huh? You weren't ready for that. Mm, a custom login UI. Can you change the UI? So let me show you some of the demos that uh, come with this uh, distro. I'm going to start with uh, chess. And in the demos folder, I'm going to click on the chess app. And look how it looks, guys. It's three dimensional. I mean, I'm building a Pentium Pro machine with a CPU that was signed personally but by uh, Pat Gelsinger for me. And um, the chess there operating system is OS2 Warp. The, the graphics is the same, it's uh, Aturage Pro as well, and it looks nothing like that. This is centuries ahead, miles ahead, and I'm not good at chess. Uh, basically, uh, the computer can beat the crap out of me every time, uh, but I can play all the time, all the time because it, it looks awesome. I don't know what happens. happened, maybe the computer decided that I'm a moron, so I won? How the F did I win? The game is over, configuration... So, uh, correction, uh, the computer decided that I'm a genius, so it just um, uh, ended the game prematurely because uh, it was uh, afraid of my... Uh, my superior intellect. Uh, thanks, Steve Jobs. This is billiard. And as you know that I'm the greatest chess player, I don't want to play this, otherwise Ronnie O'Sullivan is screwed. Just for the sake of the experiment, I'm gonna leave my ball here, then, then do what? Info, info, plan. okay. The bad historian did everything. Uh, that was one of the guys that went with Steve Jobs to present this at Apple. I told you uh, about this some time ago. So yeah, it was not that big of a team, but did amazing job. I mean, how do I how do I destroy those balls? Game. I oh. Well, I was great at chess, but I think Ronnie O'Sullivan is safe. Oh, yes. Damn, this is this is just awesome, guys. Awesome. I, I cannot stress on the fact how old this is and how it looks. Give me this black hole. Show me the event horizon. Yep. This is the center of our galaxy and we are like here and we are spinning and going further away until there is nothing in the universe until darkness. Mm, let 
let's check what dark for dark forest is I'm pretty sure it's just uh, going through all my folders I deduct this from the sound of my hard drive that is just uh, searching a place to to die what is this is it indexing Okay, let's let's wait because I'm interested. And this elephant that can be put to a box. Is this this compression tool? Uh, why it's called Dark Forest? And there's a werewolf that's barking to the moon. I'm just give it a minute. And because I have the magic of video editing, you won't have to wait. Oh, this hard drive is like, oh my god, I'm spinning so hard. This new folder, I think it's safe. So I can select it and click this elephant. Yep, that's just this compression, guys. This, what? I can compress the selected files and this operation can be undone. Of course, this sounds dangerous and... And this just game compressed okay that's uh, the grand 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 daddy of winzip molecule I'm starting molecule open molecule file damn stuff that uh, we have on Jupiter moons stuff that I can drive my epic Adventure van with. I'm gonna. Yep. Label so we can label the atoms. Guys, this this is just awesome. Just awesome, guys. And if I magnify, it's it's not slowing down. This this would have blown my mind in the early 90s I mean I, I just can't believe how well does this work and it's a it's a maybe it's even another finished product I mean it's a damn it, it, it just looks unreal for 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 the time I know now people will say what is he talking about I have a phone that's uh, like uh, Everything is all at uh, 200 hertz and smooth and but this is damn. I'm 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 speechless. Sorry for this uh, mumbo jumbo. My my English just uh, uh, my 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 little brain is overwhelmed. So after the molecule fried my brain, uh, there are other apps here, but I don't then find them really interesting. And some of them are obsolete in terms of networking it was uh, the networking for open and next step was a bit strange there was something like a domain controller but it operates differently from the one that we are now used to in windows so it's not working anymore uh, and i don't have a server that supports it and uh, yep uh, sound up render manager whatever that is it's not uh, working because the server is missing CD player up for playing CDs, obviously. And this one, I think it's just a screensaver of uh, flying to, flying to the endless space time continue. Beam me up, Scotty. So yeah, guys, this is uh, from me for this episode. I really, really like this this room. I'm gonna continue to play with it. If I find something interesting, I will, I will let you know. Until then, take care, stay safe, and I'll be back soon with uh, some other interesting things from my epic main cave. I have a lot of stuff, so I'll keep you posted. Bye-bye. Warning. Still warning. So, guys, um, I will show you some of the demos available in... Oops, I farted. What do you mean safe? 
I like it unsafe. I'm a warrior. I like living on the edge. Come on. Oh, is it safe now? Bye.